Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2020 romance miniseries called Can I Step In? A university student named Bak Ho is wishing his parents and younger brother goodbye as they are moving to a different city for his father's work. His mother asks him to do the laundry every other day, clean the dishes immediately, and throw the garbage away every week. He proudly memorizes all her advice, asking them to rest assured because he will be a good homeowner in their absence. But as soon as the family leaves, he forgets everything and turns into a typical messy teen. He starts by throwing a plastic bottle into the living room, then by dropping bags of chips. After a week of not cleaning the house, the laundry baskets are full, the garbage cans are overflowing with plastic, and the house is filled with trash. Bick survives on ramen, fast food, and video games. In the second week, he is joined by a friend. This is followed by three more friends in the next few weeks, and the place eventually turns into a frat house. The guests pay their respective rents, but their lifestyle is not much different than Bick's. One afternoon, four of them are playing rock, paper, scissors to choose who gets to eat the leftover chicken. The most mature of them all is Tai Jun, who isn't in the lot. He likes to keep to himself and talk only when necessary. Bick and a guy named Song Hee get into a friendly argument because Song tells him to eat less. They only stop when Tai Jun comes out of his room. Suddenly, a stranger rings the doorbell and asks them if his girlfriend is in the house. He walks away when they tell him otherwise. After that, the guys talk about a new roommate who is going to move in soon. He is someone close to Bick's mother, but no one from the group has seen him. They look him up on the internet and find out he is an American Korean named Alex. After failing to find a picture of him, they settle to wait for his arrival. Just then, the doorbell rings again. This time, a girl is standing outside smiling at them. She walks in without being invited, confusing the others. They soon find out that she is their new roommate, Alex. Shocked, everyone looks at Bick for answers, since he is the one who told them Alex is a man. A flashback shows us that Bick was fast asleep a few nights ago when he got a call from his mother. She told him about Alex and how she is coming to Korea for a foreign exchange program. His mother was clear that Alex is a girl, but Bick wasn't paying attention. He calls her again and is asked to make room for Alex at any cost. The guys are not comfortable living with a girl, and they are clear about it as well. They make her wear headphones and hold a guys-only meeting. Bick and a guy named Ku agree to let her stay, but the rest vote otherwise. One of them named Don feels bad for Alex and only votes for her to leave because he thinks she will have trouble staying with five men. Hence, Alex is asked to start looking for another place. She happily agrees, but they will have to let her stay for at least a few nights. Bick reluctantly lets go of his master bedroom and lets her use it, sleeping on the couch himself. Later, Alex bumps into On and asks if he has a spare toothbrush. When he says he doesn't, she goes out looking for the nearest convenience store. Unbeknownst to her, the guy who is looking for his girlfriend is following her. Suddenly, Alex feels a presence behind her, but it turns out to be On. He has come to escort her to the store because it is not safe outside at night. The next morning, she makes breakfast for everyone, which they enjoy thoroughly. On has changed his mind about Alex, hence he changes his vote as well. At last, with three votes against two, Alex is allowed to stay in the house for as long as she wants. Everyone's delighted except for Tai Jun, who seems to be annoyed. At dinner, everyone eats ramen and bonds over childhood stories. The guys are used to eating spicy stuff, but not Alex. At one point, she accidentally spits out tea on Tai Jun because of the spicy food. She tries to help him, but he is clearly annoyed. Over the course of the next few days, Alex realizes that living with guys is not as easy as she thought it would be. They are terribly messy, they leave the toilet seat up, and never pick up the laundry. But the thing that bothers her the most is how noisy they get at night. One night, she loses her patience and asks them to quiet down, getting no response in reply. To her surprise, Tai Jun takes her side and unplugs the gaming set. The next morning, she presents them with a set of rules that say they have to clean the living room after use, pick up their laundry often, and make no noise after 11 at night. The guys decide to vote for the rules to be implemented, and it is dismissed in the end. Juan sees that Alex feels bad and makes her pasta to cheer her up. After devouring it, they go to a convenience store for ice cream. In the store, the guy looking for his girlfriend is talking to a worker about her. Right as he leaves, Ahn arrives and recognizes him. He tells Alex about the missing girlfriend, but they do not think much of it. The two then walk back home while enjoying ice cream. Alex thanks Ahn because he is the only person who is keeping her sane in the house. Ahn in return reveals that he cooked her pasta at Tai Jun's request because he noticed she cannot have spicy food. Moreover, Beck, who couldn't sleep without air conditioning, barely turns it on anymore because he saw her shivering one day. Ahn assures her that all the guys like her, and they just need more time to adjust. Alex's frustration goes away, and she finally feels thankful to have such good housemates. She is met with yet another surprise when she reaches home because the guys are cleaning the living room. They didn't agree to the rules, but had a sense of responsibility to make her feel at home. Later at night, everyone's hanging out by themselves when the lights go out. They gather in the living room and start telling horror stories. Outside, the guy with the lost girlfriend knocks on their door. When no one opens it, he simply walks away. After that, the guys decide to go to the store to buy snacks. The only people left in the house are Tai Jun, Alex, and Song Hae. 
Song reads their horoscope and jokingly predicts that they are about to fall in love with each other. So, when he walks away sometime later, awkward silence prevails between Alex and Taijun. To cut the awkwardness, Alex decides to go outside and finds a pendant on the ground. While trying to look at it, the strange guy approaches her yet again. Startled, she steps back, but Taijun arrives at the right time to save her. The stranger tries telling her something about the pendant, but Taijun asks him to go away. On their way back to the house, Alex trips, and Taijun saves her from falling. They share a romantic stare, not realizing they are being watched by An. He has also started liking Alex, and is jealous of her closeness with Taijun. The following day, Alex cannot get the thought of Taijun out of her head. When he is close to her, she stumbles on her words and gets nervous. An cannot help but notice the change in her behavior after last night. Later, Alex is sulking, so Ku asks her to play video games together. Taijun watches them laugh and smiles to himself. It is clear that he has also started liking Alex. After the game, Alex helps Ku choose a necklace for his crush. Ku claims that her choices are similar to his crushes, but Alex takes it the wrong way, believing that she is the said crush. Before she misunderstands him further, he clarifies the confusion and promises to buy her a necklace as a thank you gift for helping him choose. The next morning, Alex wakes up to a necklace by her bed. She assumes that it is a gift from Ku, but doesn't think much of it. What she fails to notice is a little note that has fallen under her bed. It's cleaning day at the house, but only Alex, An, and Taijun are home. Taijun tries helping Alex every chance he gets, not allowing her to work harder than she should. An also tries getting closer to her by offering to help her wear the necklace she got as a gift. A jealous Taijun vacuums her room and pushes the letter further under the bed. At the end of the day, Gu returns home in distress, having been rejected by his crush. It turns out that she got into a relationship with another man just a day ago. This makes Taijun realize that if he doesn't confess his love to Alex, she might also fall in love with someone else. To help Ku get over the girl, everyone drinks at night. Ku and Taijun are alone when Ku asks if Tai likes Alex. Surprised, he claims that he only thinks of her as a friend. Unknown to him, Alex hears the comment and is heartbroken. Soon, all of them get drunk and play truth or dare. Taijun is asked if he likes somebody, but he deflects the question. Alex, who was hoping to hear a yes, is disheartened by the comment. The scene cuts to the next day. An invites Alex on a coffee date. They spend the rest of the day together, but An refrains from confessing his feelings. After last night, he realized that Alex likes Taijun and he doesn't want to come in between them. When they reach home, Ku gives her a necklace that he promised her a few days ago. Alex is shocked because she is already wearing a necklace that she thought was from him. Song Hye reveals that he found the gift with a note outside the house and assumed it was for Alex. He was the one who put it on her nightstand, but he doesn't know who the sender is. Upon checking her room, they find the note that says, I have something to tell you about the pendant. Everyone figures out that it must be from the strange guy who's been lurking around their house lately. He once told Alex that he was a neighbor, so everyone goes to his house to call him out. They nervously knock on the door and are surprised to be welcomed inside. It's revealed that the guy's name is Ji-Hu, and all this time he was looking for his pet dog, not his girlfriend. The last time he saw it, it was near their house, which is why he was lurking around so much. He also felt bad for scaring Alex that night and gave her a handmade necklace as an apology gift. After clearing up all the misunderstandings, Alex and the guys return home. At night, Alex receives a phone call from a company in America where she applied for an internship long ago. They hire her for a better position, however, she will have to return home next week if she takes the job. Before she can reply, Alex enters the room and asks her to come downstairs. The guys are having an ice cream night, but Song Hye accidentally bought only five bars of ice cream. Alex and Taijin go to the store to get one more and stop by Ji Hu's home on the way. He gives them a couple's ring as a gift and apologizes when he finds out that they're not actually a couple. Later, we find out that Taijun especially asked him to make those rings, hoping to give one to Alex when he confesses that he likes her. On their way back home, he asks her out on a coffee date. They take hours to get ready the next day before going to a cafe. After an entire day of eating sweets and candies, they stop at a park. Taijun is seconds away from confessing when Alex reveals that she is returning to America next week. He is shocked, but he hides his feelings and wishes her the best. The following morning, all the guys find out that Alex is about to leave. They throw her a farewell party at night, where they dance and enjoy themselves. In only a short period of time, they have become a family. The next day is the day Alex flies back home. A few hours before leaving, she hands Taijun a chocolate bar with a little note. In the following scene, everyone is seeing her off. Taijun returns to the chocolate, and we see that she had confessed her love in the note. Beneath her message, he replied, Me too. They smile at each other before the car drives her away. The scene cuts to a few months later. Alex returns to Korea and meets Taijun outside the house. They are wearing the promise rings and are happy to finally reunite as a couple.